hey guys what's up welcome back to bones's vlogs hope you guys are having a great day out there today and today's going to be a good day for us here because we are going to be doing something pretty cool that we haven't done in a while speaking of which i haven't vlogged in a while but anyway today since skelty and i are stuck in our houses because of the home quarantine we are going to be building a pillow fort so let's get right into the day i got him i tackled him whoa oh Yo, guys, what the heck? Someone just broke into our house. Hey, what the? I'm just out here doing some work on the monster truck, fixing some of the axles. I had to take the wheels off because it was getting a little rusty. We take this baby out for a lot of runs all over the place, so it's getting a little worn down around the gears and all that. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I'm not really good with repairs but anyway i just wanted to it was really funny last night because i woke up in the middle of the night to get some water because i was thirsty and i walk out into the hallway and i just hear this noise and i was like what the heck is that and it turns out skelty skelty had snuck out in the middle of the night to get a midnight snack i swear what's wrong with this dude well anyway he snuck out to get a midnight snack and i just i had to take out and record just listen to this clip guys it's literally like the middle of the night, and I went out, I went out of my room, I'm really tired, I went out to get some water, and I walk into the hallway, and this is what I hear. Listen to that skeleton eating ramen. This dude literally woke up to eat ramen in the middle of the night, and he's slurping so loud he could have woken me up. But anyway, like I said, today we are going to be building a pillow fort, and normally we would do it in our house, but instead we're going to be doing it in the backyard because we just don't have enough space in the house right now. We're still remodeling it. I'm about to go pick up Edward, but first I just wanted to say, speaking of Edward and his brother Tarsus, they're not going to be in the vlogs or videos as often as they used to be. They used to all, like always be in it, but... It's, there's going to be a change, and it's a change for the better, but here's the deal. Basically, Edward and Tarsus have started their own business. So, pretty much what the deal is, is they're opening up like a cafe or restaurant style thing, but there's a catch to it. It's not just an ordinary cafe. So basically, Edward and Tarsus are opening up like a bakery cafe. They're going to be selling pastries and donuts and cakes and all that. And since Edward plays piano and Tarsus paints, there is going to be piano music, sometimes even live piano music that Edward plays or has been recorded by Edward. And the, the cafe is going to be decorated with artwork from Tarsus. So it's a really cool thing. So they're using their own talents and hobbies in it. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that since they are going to be focusing on their business, they're not going to be in the vlogs as much. I'll still try and see if I can catch them on a free day here and there. Today, Edward happens to be free, but I just wanted to give the little heads up before they just start randomly disappearing. All right, so we are back at the house now. Skelty's here. Edward's here. We're just gathering supplies as you can see, we've got these two clips here, which are going to work as sort of like stands to hold up the fort. And of course, we have a blanket right here that we're going to be putting over the top. And we also have this here neck pillow, which is pretty big, spacious on the inside. This is going to be like sort of an area you can get into through the front of the fort. And then we just have a bunch of other stuff that we might use later in the fort. And yeah, we might just incorporate this stuff in. But anyway, we're going to get to building and I'll see you guys once we've made some progress. 
Okay, so the main body of the fort is done. As you can see, it is pretty dark inside there and comfy. We've got a green cover over the neck pillow. And then if we come over here, we also have part two of the fort. We're not exactly sure what to do here because these clips aren't cooperating. We thought they'd work really well to hold up the fort, but they keep falling over. So we're gonna revise our initial plans and see if we can get cracking on some new builds. So, after a lot of just messing around with the design, we decided to, in fact, make the neck pillow part the main area of the fort, and instead of having the part with the blanket and clips covered, we are just going to move all the stuff into the neck pillow part. So, as you can see, this is the main tunnel leading into the fort, and if you look down it, it's really dark, you can't really see, but... I'll give you guys a full tour later. Basically, this leads down all the way into here. And then we have this part, which is just sort of a little hallway bit before we get to the main body of the fort. And I don't know how well you guys can see down there, but I'm going to try and see if you tilt your head a little bit. You can actually see down the tunnel all the way into the inside of the fort. So it's pretty cool. All right, I have entered the fort. This is the main part, or not the main part. This is the hallway. And yeah, I'm just gonna head down all the way to the end. There's not a whole lot to look at right here. This is just sort of a path to get to the rest of the fort. But yeah, maybe we can do something here or maybe not. Okay, so we are inside the fort now. It's pretty cool in here. It's a little dark. It's a bit cramped, but not too bad. There is a good amount of space. So not a lot, but a good amount of it. And anyway, we're gonna start moving in some of the stuff and then show you what the fort looks like with the finished product. Alrighty, we are inside the fort now. It is a bit cramped, but as you can see, it's pretty nice now that we've got a nice table in here and a lamp in here as well. We might even get some place to sit over there that's more comfortable. And I don't know, there's a lot of options we have, although we're thinking of just straight up removing the main tunnel entrance because it literally started sagging in and almost crushed Skelty as he was crawling. But anyway, we're going to go ahead, make this a bit more cozy, maybe put a floor on the ground, all that jazz, and just spice it up a little. And then once we have the finished, finished product, I'll show you guys. Okay, guys, I snuck out of the fort. I told Edward and Skelty that I was going to go grab some snacks from the house. But what I'm actually going to do is grab an air horn and I'm going to scare them when I get back to the fort, okay? So I need to look for them. I know we have one. I just need to find it. It's like a really small, tiny thing. I'm going to go grab it. Maybe I'll grab a megaphone or something. I don't know. I'm going to go grab something to scare them. And I'm also going to grab snacks as well because we're getting a little hungry. This sport is so awesome and cozy, and if you get tired, you can just lay underneath this pillow. I wish we were doing a 24-hour challenge in here. Look at Skelty. He was so lazy, he fell over while he was sitting down. Bruh, you don't gotta go and call me out like that, dude. Sorry. So this isn't quite the air horn that I wanted, but it's sort of like a megaphone. So I'm gonna run in there and play this super loud noise. You fool! You scared the living life out of me! Skelty, what does that even mean? I don't know! Well, we decided to take a break from the pillow fort for now. It was super comfortable and cozy, so if you want to see us make more forts, make sure to smack that subscribe button, take the back of your hand and slap it like you're serving a tennis ball, okay? Just beat it up, make it cry, just hit that subscribe button right now. It's the fat and ugly red one down below there, and make sure to punch that notification bell, and make sure to set it to all so you don't miss videos. And also like the video, because that way I'll know that you guys enjoy Fort Vids. Skelty, I dare you, all right, I dare you to jump this ramp in the go-kart, okay? There's no way I'm going to do that, Bones. Skelty, the video is going to cut directly to you doing it. 
Hi, I'm Skelty Knoxville, and welcome to Bones' Vlogs. Ouch! Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, he's still attached. What? Ah, I landed right on my spleen. All right, let me get you out of there, bro. You okay? Now my spleen is injured. So Matt and Malleus came over just to hang out, and really quickly, Malleus, I just gotta ask, why is your voice so high in the latest Dawn Patrol? If you guys haven't seen the latest Dawn Patrol, go check it out. But Malleus, what was up with your voice? Oh, uh, I don't know, but I honestly think I was just tired or something i don't know usually people's voices get lower when they're tired or something but for me it was higher oh well that's pretty interesting i guess that explains it by the way matt where are your legs so as i'm sure all of you guys are aware the whole you know covid19 thing is going on right now and it hasn't reached talking world yet but I'm assuming it will get here eventually. The only thing we have to worry about is toys coming in that have been in contact with people that have it, but still there has been a, an executive order issued by King Godzilla to stay inside, avoid contact with people. I mean, Talking World's pretty safe right now, and honestly, nobody here is sick. So I think it's fine for now, like nobody in our entire area of Talking World or anywhere around it, like Stuffed World across the way, there's no evidence that any toys, in fact, in the entire world, there's no evidence that any toys have gotten sick. But still, for those of you viewers who are not toys, please just stay safe, stay inside, and of course, since we're not really doing anything, King Godzilla has said that everybody is allowed to work from home. You don't need to go into work or anything. And that's actually really good because Talking World has so much advanced technology that pretty much every job imaginable is able to work from home. Normally jobs where people would be required to go in to work can still do it remotely. So that's pretty cool. And as for me, I no longer have to go in to the awesome Lego Guy Squad headquarters to do superhero work, which means pretty much my entire day is free, which means I'll be spending a lot of time filming, editing, and uploading videos. But anyway, just make sure you guys out there stay safe, and yeah, just, I don't, I don't really know what's gonna happen here. It seems like everything is sort of okay for now. And Matt, seriously, where is the lower half of your body? Like, the lower 45% of your body is missing. If I had an answer, I would have told you. Okay. Alright, guys, that's pretty much going to end off today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and you can enjoy this nice and weird orange color cast that's going on because of the reflection or something. But anyway, look forward to a lot more vlogs and videos coming soon, and I'm going to be on that skeleton grind. Anyway, see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out. Goodbye.